Hey guys, I'm back with some code again. I made an update to the Smoothificator script. It now supports adaptive layer height, so it now is basically a script to use a somewhat constant resolution for the outer walls while the inside of the print is still adaptive. This enables you to print faster with a smoother surface quality. It is not perfectly constant, but it only varies such a small amount that it is not really visible in the final print. At least in my test prints. The script detects the minimal layer height of your machine and calculates the best way to split the walls to get as close as possible to your minimal layer height. For example, if a layer has a height of 0.25mm and your minimal layer height is 0.08, it has the option to split it into 4 layers of 0.0625 or 3 layers of 0.083 or leave it as 0.25. It chooses whatever is closest to the desired 0.08. You can also adjust the desired layer height which the script is aiming for. But the adaptive layer generator is still using the machine settings for the lowest value. The script can only split layers into multiple and not combine them. This means if you have a minimal layer height of 0.08 and set the desired layer height of 0.1, the script will try to get as close as possible to the 0.1, but the adaptive layer height can still go down to 0.08. So values smaller than the set 0.1 will not be touched by the script. Let's look at how you can use it in Prusa Slicer. For that you need to have Python installed, which you can download from python.org. Then open a command window and type where Python and copy that path. Download my script from the GitHub, which is linked in the description. Now in Prusa Slicer, go to print settings and then open output options. And add your path to Python in quotation marks. After that, add the path to the script in quotation marks too. It will run like this. But if you want to play around with different desired layer heights, you can add minus outer layer height and a number. If you generally want to configure the minimal and the maximal layer height for the adaptive layer heights, you can go to printer settings and then extruder and change them there. I have gotten better results by enabling external parameters first because this decreases the risk of the nozzle colliding with the print and leaving artifacts. Now back on the plate, select the model and click the variable layer height icon. Here you can configure it as you want. If you now slice and export, the script will run. To look at the results, you have to drag the exported file back into the slicer. Well, that's all I can offer you this weekend, because I took a day off on Saturday. If you want to support me, leave a like and a comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching, have fun with the script and goodbye.